I'm back again with yet another breakdance update and in this case it is breakdance 1.4 beta 1. Not too long ago, a couple of weeks back, Breakdown Ship 1.3, which was a mega release, tons of features. If you haven't seen the video I made on that release, uh, you check it out at the top right corner. I'm going to link it here. It was a major release that featured a lot of improvement and additions to Breakdance. However, this release is a bit different in that it is not a major release. It's not a release that brings a lot of features. This release brings just one feature and an important one, which is the CSS grid. Prior to this time, if you want to lay out anything that looks like a grid in Breakdance, you would use the columns element. So I'm going to show you what the columns element look like. So I'm going to add a section here. Uh, let's go all the way up here. And um, I will just um, maybe I want to add maybe a grid something like a grid i'm just going to add the columns okay and then i can choose this and the problem with the columns element is that you really can have a real grid so if i increase this let's say to uh you know i have six there okay they all come in here and there's just no way to do three three so if i come here 50 percent width so you can have uh three columns at base you can have maybe two two columns and this was a serious limitation you know i mean even if you wanted to have three columns uh you probably would just need to put two of these and duplicate this uh, to have that and maybe put a gap okay like so maybe i want to put a maybe 20 gap or 40 uh, but this wasn't a real ideal solution. So right now in Breakdance 1.4 beta 1, uh, there is a new element and that element is called um, it's called grid. So I'm just going to add a new element. This is the element is called grid. So once you add it, it's just like any other div, but except that it is a CSS grid container. So the way Breakdance does it is that you have a spatial container for grid. So you can just apply a grid to any elements. For example, uh, if you had a div, uh, say you had a div like that, uh, you can't just apply a CSS grid property to here. So they, they don't have an option where uh, you go in and then say display grid and then you use uh, that. So what they have is a special container, which is a grid container. So anytime you want to implement CSS grid, uh, you do it with this CSS grid container. Now, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to add a div. I already have a div here that I'd like to copy. So I'm just going to copy that div and just drop it in here. So, uh, so you go to the grid settings and then you just tell it how many rows you want. So give it three rows uh, and then I want to have three items there. So I'm just going to duplicate this, uh, you know, two times to make it three items. So I have my three rows. So I'm, I usually like giving my, um, my section some background, okay, to see. All right. So now, even if I want to have six elements inside here if i keep duplicating this okay i'm gonna have uh, i'm gonna have that uh, grid structure and this doesn't use any you know it's not gimmicky it's a real css grid so i'm gonna go to the front end and then i'm gonna check what it what happens here so i'm gonna go responsive and let me bring this over here okay let me just bring this over here okay now um so if I want to inspect this, okay, you can see that it displays grid is real CSS grid. While this is not a full blown CSS grid uh, container like uh, you have in Oxygen Builder, um, it gives you the capability to do what you need to do 99% of the time. A lot of times when people are using grid, they just want to grid a very simple solution uh, for responsive card layout which is a very difficult thing to do or very tricky thing to do when you're using uh, Flexbox as in the case of these the columns element in Breakdown. So the columns element in Breakdown uses Flexbox, uh, which is the reason it's kind of tricky to use it to achieve the kind of layout that you want. Uh, let's take a look at the responsive settings. So you have here three items per row. Now, uh, the default was four, okay, but I changed it to three. Uh, you have a default spacing, which, uh, you can override here you have the different uh unit here and then under advanced you have different uh, settings here so let's say i had this uh maybe this was kind of shorter okay and then i go here and decide to say um start okay you can see that changes end to center uh stretch i think stretch is the default uh so you have all those you know grid settings you could decide to use original image dimension 
or original item uh, dimension, which most of the time you wouldn't want to use that. And I'm not even I'm not even going to go into the details of that, you know, because a lot of times when you're using grid, this is just what you want. Let's go responsive. So I'm going to go here. We still have three. Uh, the, the good thing is that these are pre-filled with the what, what I will call the recommended settings. And over here you have two. Uh, you really don't need to do anything because these are already you know pre-filled for you. And over here you have one and here you just have one. So I think this is a really very simple implementation. Uh, the whole philosophy of the Breakdance Builder is to make it extremely easy for non-tech users, non-advanced users to build website easily and fast. So that is exactly what they have done here. So once you drop that container, items per row, you just, you know, because you don't have to know to, you know, you really don't have to know what CSS grid is. That, that's the whole idea, you know, it just dumps down the whole thing. And for users that just want to get into a builder and they, they don't know anything about CSS, they just want, I want three grid, I want a grid, you know, they take the grid elements, and they have this. You want four grid? Cool. You have four. You want three? Cool. Now, now you may have noticed that I have something like this here. And you wonder, okay, how can we do something like this? Right now, you can do something like this natively using the grid element because this is just a grid element. Now, there's going to be additional feature that's going to be made available for this capability, which is uh, what is called the full CSS grid control. Now, uh, it is currently in progress. Uh, it's called CSS grid controls where you have the ability to set the row span, the column span, you know, uh, for this CSS grid feature. But right now that is not available. But that does not mean that it is not possible because it is still possible. Uh, so if you take a look at this, I still use the CSS grid container or the CSS grid element to do this. And it's um, for some of you that do not understand CSS. I just want to tell you just because the CSS full CSS grid control is not available does not mean that you can't do something like this just yet. You can still do it, but you might just require just one line of CSS for every time you want to do something like this. For example, uh, so we have a three column grid here and let's say I want to span this too. All you need to do is to go into the advanced uh, custom CSS section and once you put in that selector, okay, I really wish Breakdance would make this auto populate. Once you put in that uh, selector, uh, all you need to do is, so you want to, you want it to span uh, the column, okay, two, two columns, right? So uh, you just say grid column, like that, grid column, uh, you say span two. All right, so I made a mistake here. This is supposed to be selector, not selection, okay, caps. All right, now, so you can see that uh, the span two spanned two columns. Okay, now if I want this to span two rows, all I need to do is to come here again and just put that selector, okay, selector, right? And, and then I'm going to say grid, uh, grid row span two. And it spans two, and then I want this to span two. I'm, I can just go and copy this one and paste here, okay? So right now we have these spans to, these spans to, these spans are uh, that's two columns each and then two rows. So you can see that you can still have something like that. So if we take a look at the front end, let me refresh. I can see that you have that uh, layout there. So it is, it, so there is no, the fact that these doesn't have the full CSS control does not mean that you cannot do it. You are not really, so you're not really limited. You know, I can have uh, maybe 20, pixels of columns there so it this looks nice now if you do something like this of course you have to deal with the responsive so right now we have three columns here now when you go to where you have two columns okay so let's select that css grid we still have three columns here so this works because this span so we have one here now when you go to where you have uh two columns i think still looks good because this spans two you know, and this spans too, so it still looks okay. And ex except you want to maybe span another one here too, you could do that at this breakpoint. It just depends on what you want to do. So you can see um, the results are still okay at this point. Maybe you might want to want you might want to take this back to you know span one. So I could go back to uh, so I have um, on this breakpoint tablet portrait. I could go back there, copy this, come back to the tablet portrait and paste that and then I can take it back to one. 
so we have maybe this this and this but at this point you might just want to reset everything to one span one so because when we get to this point where we have uh, one column you want to reset all the all of them to one so this uh, you want to reset uh, grid column to span one okay you must you must reset anything that was spanning two uh, here you return it to one so this was two copy it go back to that breakpoint okay and then paste it and take it to one okay so that's basically how you can have uh you can have that feature even though it is not natively available so if i go to the front end and take a look let's refresh that uh you can see that uh this works okay if i just uh, let me just go responsive yep so you can see that that works okay yep so that looks good now one thing i like about this is the simplicity is the how easy it is to use one thing i like about this is how easy it is to use now granted what i'm doing right here a lot of people i mean i, I re rarely do this i can't remember the last time i did something like this on an actual site because a lot of times i don't need this okay i don't need to do this what i just did here so i can just take that off for now okay um i'm just showing you in the rare case that you would need to do that okay this that option you know you can still use custom code to do that but in most use cases you're not going to be doing stuff like that and for what breakdance provides it is more than enough for 90 percent of the use cases so this is i mean it's so simple you put this as i need three columns you get three columns i need you know four columns you get four columns you know it is really good and i i like the implementation and i i'm looking forward to you know having this full css grid control i'm kind of curious how they're going to implement this i really hope they're going to make it really you know fun to use and interactive and very easy you know something you know something out of the box you know possibly better than what they did uh, with oxygen builders css grid because i still feel oxygen builders css grid interface is still one of the best css grid interface for a builder because uh it's i think i think it was very intuitive the way they did it they did it in such a way that you could manipulate even loop items uh where you can directly you know uh, access the individual children personally i think that was a very brilliant idea instead of leaving the grid controls to the children uh so if you're putting the grid controls on the children uh, what happens is that if you have if you have a loop item you can access the other children you have to use custom css to do that but uh, oxygen did it in such a way that you could you know access them uh, from the parents the great parents and i uh, that is why i'm saying i'm looking forward to how you know uh breakdance is going to implement that when they're doing the full-blown css grid controls uh, i can't wait to see that that's all about breakdance 1.4 beta 1 uh, it's available so for testing okay so you could go ahead and download it and test it and according to official uh information this should be out you know in the next two weeks i'm talking about the final version okay uh it doesn't seem like i i don't see any bug i've been using i've been testing this out it doesn't seem to be um any bug i think this is a very solid beta release i believe in the next two weeks it should be production ready and people are gonna start using it in their, on their website so uh tell me what you think about this have you tried this out and if you have used it so uh let me know what you think about it in the comment section and if you haven't used breakdance if you don't have breakdance you could always I, I think stuff like this might be part of the breakdance pro version okay uh there's a free version available in breakdance but i i doubt this is going to be available in the free version so if you don't have breakdance pro i'm going to provide a link in the description it is an affiliate link when you use the affiliate link to buy breakdance it simply means that you are helping me to earn a commission at no extra cost to you it is your own way of supporting the channel so i'm going to put that link in the description so go ahead and use that link if you want to buy breakdance and also if you miss any of my breakdance videos i have a couple of them in the on the channel so take a look at the channel i'm also going to link some at the top right corner on the screen here and at the end of this video so check them out until next time have a great day bye